Uh, when I think of Michael Mills, I think of an old saying, when somebody asks you what time it is, don't tell them how to make a watch. And that's Michael. He's got a first-rate legal mind, and he's an incredible listener. And when he tells you the time, what he's really telling you is, here's what you need to know in a way you can use it. I got my first start with the restaurant and beverage industry in uh, 1969, actually, when I became a licensee of the OLCC while I was going to law school. I came to the association management world uh, from the background of being an operator, and there's really no substitute for that. It, uh, uh, is impossible to understand all the challenges, trials, tribulations that operators go through unless you've been one them yourself. When they knew that I'd graduated from law school, they came and asked me if I wanted to work for the association, which at that time was called ORBA, the Oregon Restaurant and Beverage Association. I would say the one quality that jumps out most to me with Mike Mills is his dedication to the industry and to the association and to the small operators. Attorneys are a particular and peculiar breed in some fashions and Mike Mills sets himself apart when he uh, is compared to other attorneys because of his true compassion for who he's working for. The client usually when they come to you have a problem and it's very personal to them and that's what I like to do is to help them through that on a mental level as well as a legal level. And that's his real attribute, is he helps people solve problems. When you have to talk about what I probably respect and most envious of Mike Mills is, is his hair. He's got wonderful flowing locks of hair. Michael Mills may be the only attorney in history who ever sent me an invoice with a deduct because he has reduced his billing rate because he went to a home office and discovered that his overhead was less. Well, lawyers are loath to look into a crystal ball, but I see uh, the Oregon hospitality industry as being pretty well uniquely situated as far as the state that we have and the beautiful tourism attractions. So I see that the industry is gonna remain vital uh, over the foreseeable future. We didn't used to have taverns that brewed beer. We didn't used to have distilleries that could sell their product to a customer. We didn't used to have wineries that could sell glasses of wine directly to a consumer. So that level of change is, is uh, frankly hard to fathom unless you were there. And he was there throughout it all. I know the Industry Achievement Award is not something that's given out every year. It is somebody who has gone above and beyond. And when you talk about, like I said, my 20 years here, people have come and go out of this association, but Mike has been a mainstay. In every organization, there's always someone who consistently contributes at such a high level, it becomes expected. And you stop noticing. Well, tonight, Michael, Orla notices in a big way. Congratulations on the Industry Achievement Award. It's something that's richly deserved.